Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial from Conflower Iris. Today I'll be making this easy and simple happy birthday card in a diamond embossed style. This card only requires minimal materials, a few sheets of card, some gilding wax, and a die and embossing folder. To begin with, I chopped a piece of A4 hammered cardstock in half, and then scored it in half to make an A6 card blank. I cut three A6 panels, and then using some black and red cardstock, I die cut Happy Birthday. This is to do some shadowing later. I then embossed the three panels. Originally I was going to use black, white and red diamonds. The recipient really likes playing cards and I thought this would be a very striking style, but then decided that I wanted to use more colours and that's shine. So on the white embossed panel, over another piece of white cardstock, I'm using a Pro Marker in black to apply some colour. I'm leaving a space of two so that it can go black, white, red down a column and then alternating this just to keep a very simple pattern. Once all the black diamonds are done, I added in some red diamonds using a Spectrum Noir Alcohol Marker in CR8. Then I got out the gilding waxes. These are from Creative Expressions. I'm using Deep Red here to apply some colour. This gilding wax is a bit different to the Pebio gilding wax you may have seen me use in other videos because it's a lot harder, so it requires working in a bit. So I first of all rub it with my fingers in the pot to warm it up and loosen up the fibres and make it easy to work with, and then go over the diamonds. I used two coats on most of these diamonds just to make the colour a bit more vibrant. To move away from the three colour scheme, I added in some gilding wax in the colour Patina. This is a really nice vibrant aquamarine type colour. I really love the grungy look I ended up with on this card, because I blended all the waxes together at the final step. I'm using Pearl Moon for the white areas, just to add some shimmer. It's really quite a shut subtle colour. Then I'm using some pewter, which is a kind of dark silver to add a bit of contrast next to the patina. The pattern's really simple to follow once you've got a few layers down. Always make sure to have a baby wipe handy when you're doing this because your finger can get covered in gilding wax. I'm now going over with a third coat on some of the colours because I felt the red wasn't red enough, it was more orangey. I'm just adding in some final touches of shine. You can see how much shine there is on that panel. Now the gilding wax isn't completely dry here because there's quite a thick layer on but I'm blending everything together rather than buffing at this stage with a paper towel. After that's done, I then use some drop shadowing. So I'm using a Nouveau glue pen on the back of the black sentiment. I'm going to put that on top of the red sentiment. And this just leaves a red border to one side and really helps it pop out from the background. Then I'm using the Nouveau glue pen again to adhere it to the card. This means there's no areas of glue that will seep out and spoil the look of the shine. To attach this panel to the front of the card, I'm simply using some tape runner. And then it's important to actually buff up the material and make it really super shiny and just make sure there's no excess that will get on the recipient's fingers. So I'm buffing this up with some more paper towel and you can see it's made quite a difference. I'm now using this stamp from the Spring is in the Air stamp set, Carpe Diem and I'm stamping it in Memento ink in the colour Love Letter. It's the closest I could get to a proper red. I'm then using a piece of 12 by 12 paper from the Trendy Glue Lifestyle pad you may have seen me use before. There'll be a link over on my blog. And then using the 123 punch board, I'm scoring and folding in the correct places. This is eight and three eighths of an inch and I'm scoring and punching at three and a half inches. Then using tape runner to put the envelope together, because this is a flat card, it doesn't require any special considerations. 
And then the back side of this paper is quite plain, so I'm using this to write the recipient's name on. I'm using a Tombow calligraphy pen. These pens are really nice to work with and give a really easy calligraphy look. Once that's done, I attach it to the envelope with tape runner, and off camera, I wrapped a few pieces of natural string around and tied it in the knot. And that's the very simple quick card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and liked it and got inspired. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll leave you with some stills. There'll be more videos very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.